From vlogging to cinematics, this is truly the only lens you need for the Sony ZV-E10. Let me tell and show you why. First off, I want to start by saying I am not a review channel, but I have been using the Sony ZV-E10 as my daily vlogging camera for about the last year and a half. And I really do love it, even with its flaws, it's definitely done its job. Now, what if I said this isn't even really a lens, it's a coffee cup. And now what if I said that the best lens you have is the one you have on it? And yes, I'm talking about the kit lens. Now don't click away yet. Just hear me out because at the end of the day, I've only received praise while using this lens and everyone is always surprised to hear that I only use the kit lens with this camera. Here's a few reasons why. Reason number one, it comes with the camera. Now, if you're looking to buy the Sony ZV-E10 or you own the Sony ZV-E10, just like myself, you're probably on a budget. Don't kid yourself, the kit lens is really all you need. And when that time comes, when you start looking for new glass, I would just personally suggest saving up and looking for a whole new camera setup. Reason number two, it does the job. Just like I said, from vlogging to cinematics, I've really done it all with this camera. I've shot terabytes and terabytes of footage, filmed over a hundred vlogs. Some would say cinematic vlogs, but trust me when I say the kit lens does it all. Yeah, for vlogging sake, I wouldn't mind having a little bit of a wider lens, but even while utilizing Catalyst Brows, which I always do with that crop, it is still good enough. Now, speaking about Catalyst Brows, the only time I can't use it is at night and artificial light, which brings me to point number three. It has built-in stabilization. Now, by no means is it perfect or really any good, but I find it better than the camera's built-in active stabilization. And whenever I'm in night or artificial light, I utilize the built-in stabilization into the lens. So that is definitely a huge bonus for me. And like I said, I really do believe it gives a better result than the built-in active steady shot. Reason number four, I guess we could say it's small and compact. And when I originally started looking at the Sony ZV-E10, the reason for getting this camera was to have as small and compact vlogging setup as possible. So why would I really wanna add weight and size to this camera? Reason number five, I guess we'll say it's versatility. It's a 16 to 50 on an APS-C camera, so it has a 1.5 times crop. But with Sony's clear image zoom, when you think about it, that's a pretty crazy range for such a small and compact lens. Also, I just wanted to mention, I do have a 1 4th black diffusion filter on my lens and I never take it off. I just personally like the look of it, so I keep it on 24 seven. Now there was a point that I was looking at getting new glass for the Sony ZV-E10, but taking everything into account, doing research financially, it just made more sense for me to save up and actually upgrade my camera because this camera does have flaws like the stability rolling shutter and all that kind of stuff and buying a new lens won't fix those flaws so for me it just made more sense for when that time comes i'm going to save up and get the sony zve1 but until then i'm going to be using the e10 with the kit lens because it does everything i need from vlogging to cinematics now one other point i just wanted to get across Assuming if you own the Sony ZV-E10 or you're looking to buy it, you're probably in the beginning stages of your creative journey. And I just wanna say guys, stop stressing about the gear. Work with what you have, stay consistent, fall in love with the process because at the end of the day, that's all that matters. The gear isn't gonna make you a better creator. That comes from within you. Like I always like to say, let your skill level surpass your gear and then start looking for new gear. You know, so many people are so fixated on getting new glass, new this, new that, and they barely even know how to work a camera. So fall in love with the craft first, and then you could worry about upgrading. Now, with all that being said, speaking about gear, if you ever do plan on buying the Sony ZV-E10, the kit lens, or the 1 4th Black Diffusion Pro Mist Filter, 
please do it through the link in my description as it helps fund and support small channels like mine. Now, if you are new here, my name is Evan Lindy. I mainly post vlogs on this channel. The weather has been pretty crappy, so I decided to make this video instead. And I feel like there is a little market for it because on my YouTube analytics, a lot of people have been searching best lens for the Sony ZV-E10. So I thought I'd just make this video, share my experience and let you guys know for the last year and a half, I've been using the kit lens and I really do have zero complaints. So thanks for watching to the end. Thank you to my patrons for keeping the dream alive. Much love and I'll see you in the next one.